Hey, it's Mark A. Square with my Arduino Projects book here. I'm on the second project. They call it, uh, what is it, uh, Spaceship Controls, but I mean, it's it's really just learning how LEDs work and getting introduced to uh, resistor color codes, which I'm glad I have figured out correctly <laughs> as far as this goes, that I at least have someone that works. Um, I find it a little hard to see those color bands on the uh, on those little. Let's see if I can do this fancy. Let's see. I really and I'm probably going to do this, and this is actually my answer. Is I zoom in with my phone to look at the color bands and make sure I have the right resistances. Two twenty. Um, is it two twenty? Yeah, two twenty ohms here. And then another resistor over here that is a 10K ohms, I think is what it is. Um, in any case, what it is, 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 um, the yellow are outputs, the green is an input. Uh, if I can get it to refocus, let's see here. Zoom out, zoom back in, there we go. It'll go, there we go. So the green is an input, which is this button push. The button push tells these three LEDs what to do. That plus some lines of code here. Let's see, there we go. Some lines of code here that, I mean, the book walked me through writing, but I actually understand what's going on here. First off, I, I give it a... a, a integer name switch state and set it to a zero state for here then we go to the setup and it's defining my pins what type they are i have pins three four and five as outputs pin two is an input that's the green wire down below it then enters void loop it enters like it, it'll go back and forth in the loop forever until uh until well end states are met right but in any case if switch state uh, it's, it, switch state equals digital read too, so it reads the the green wire, which is the the button push. If the button is not pushed, if the power is low on it, in other words, it's not giving a signal. The uh, green is on, and the two reds are off. Greens are on, two reds are off. Buttons not pushed, right? Um, else, in other words, if the button is actually pressed, uh, it digitally writes the low states for the, um, well, what it does is, let's see, uh, green LED is number three. So yeah, it sets the green LED off and it starts toggling back and forth. For as long as the time that the button is held down, it toggles between uh, the two red LEDs, and there's a little delay in between of a quarter second between each of those switches. So as I look over at my board here, and I've got the button, I can hold down the button, and that's exactly what happens. It toggles back and forth for so long as you have your mouse button down. Then you take your mouse button back off, it matches back with the if statement of low, in other words, no one has their finger on the button. So the green one lights back up. Basic stuff, I'm sure. Um, but I'm having fun experimenting and relearning all this stuff after a decade being away. So I have plans. <laughs> Marky scored out.